What would you do to get magic powers? How far would you go? What would you sacrifice? Who would you deal with? What is it worth to you? These are the questions we're going to look at more as we explore the Warlock class. The ambitious, the mysterious, the determined. We're going to learn about Warlocks today. Who would do almost anything for magic. Alrighty, we are back with another class video for Adventure Survival. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about Warlocks. I'm going to go into what a Warlock is, who might want to choose Warlock as a class, uh, how you get Warlock as a class once you qualify for it, and any new skills that you will get in the process. Warlocks, at their core, can be summed up in, in one word, ambitious. Warlocks are pure magic users. But, unlike sorcerers, they didn't get their magical power by birth or by accident. They went looking for it. Warlocks are beings that wanted magic power so much that they went searching for a magical being that would grant them magical abilities. But, like all things in life, everything comes with a price. So... That magical being may expect them to follow certain rules or carry out certain tasks, follow certain principles in exchange for that magical power. But, you know, in exchange for that task, then they are granted magical abilities that go far beyond anything that they could ever get just by studying magic their entire life. Alright, so, who might want to be a warlock? Good question. Characters that want something make good warlocks. And I don't just mean like, I want something, like I want like a cookie, or I want a cool hat. Um, characters that might enjoy being warlocks want something big, and they are determined to get it. Maybe a character's hometown was destroyed, and so they set out on this quest to find the power that they would need to make sure that never happened to anyone else ever again. Or maybe it's something a little different. Maybe it's almost the opposite. Like they are a character and they, you know, they've lived on this tiny little island in the middle of the ocean their whole life. And more than anything in the whole world, they want to travel. They want to see everything. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to get the power to go do that. The most important factor is that these characters have a goal in mind, and they're willing to go to almost any length to achieve it. Magical beings don't just hand out magical powers casually. Once the warlock also has the magic, that they have to work to keep it. If they don't carry out the goals of the magical being, then they're going to lose that magical power. So, for instance... You know, maybe these principles are kind of more or less straightforward. Maybe your character meets this great immortal whale spirit, and uh, the whale spirit says, Hey, I'll give you magical powers, but every chance you get, you must protect the ocean. You must try to make sure that the ocean stays safe, that it stays clean, that, you know, the creatures in it aren't, uh, aren't, aren't sort of treated cruelly or abused. Um, maybe the tasks are a little less straightforward or a little bit less obvious or a little bit less of a grand scale say maybe your character uh ends up finding a giant cheese puff and the cheese puff says that it is the the god of snack food and explains in order to follow the god of snack food the giant cheese puff then the your character has to carry around bags of snacks everywhere and every house they go to, every inn they go to, they have to they have to hide, you know, a bag of snacks. And so the you know the the spirit of junk food is uh, venerated, and anyone that wants snacks might be able to find them in random places around the world. Lots of different principles, lots of different powerful beings. All right, to become a warlock, a couple of different things need to happen. First and foremost, you must have a, like any class, a collective stat of 32. 
Once you've added up all your stats and equal 32, then, in order to become a warlock, you have to explain your warlock backstory. And, like, this sorcerer backstory, you know, for a warlock is pretty important. So, you need to explain, you know, who or what that powerful being is. That powerful magical being that gave your character powers. And you also need to explain what you have to do to keep them. What you have to do to, to uh, what principles, what acts do you have to carry out in order to keep your magical powers. Um, something to keep in mind is perhaps if your character starts going against the principles of uh, the being that has gifted the powers to them, they might not get to keep the magical powers. So, for instance, if a uh, you know a character finds this giant um, living tree. And the tree says, hey, I'll give you magical powers, but you must protect the forest. And then, not that long afterwards, the character goes and maybe starts a big forest fire and burns the forest down. Then that ancient old tree might not be super keen on letting that character keep that magical gift. So, you know, backstory for a warlock is something that's, that's important. It's good to think it through. It's good to explain it pretty thoroughly. So you're also going to need to explain why your character is willing to take this deal. What does your character care about? Again, becoming a warlock takes a lot of effort. It's not something you kind of stumble into. Doing anything that takes a lot of effort, you know, it takes work. And when people have to work really hard, usually they have sort of a kind of a goal in mind to keep them motivated. So, you know, as your character was trying to search out some magical being, and once they met that magical being, what, you know, they, they have to carry out these goals. What motivated them through that? What do they want? Like I said, maybe, um, it could be a lot of different things. Before I mentioned, maybe you and your character's town was destroyed. They want to make sure it never happened again. Maybe they want to see the world. Um, maybe everybody in their family is really talented at magic. Maybe everybody in their family is a sorcerer except them. And they want acceptance and approval. And they want to be like the rest of their family, so they go out and make a deal with uh, some being so they can have magic too. But thinking about what motivates your character is pretty important, because if your character doesn't stay motivated, then your character is going to stop carrying out the principles of this magical being that they have made a promise to, and they're going to maybe lose their powers. Alright, so once you have explained how your character got their powers and from who, you get some stuff. So, you can create one spell spell a day in game. That's you create a spell, uh, but in order to do so, you have to name the spell and then be able to spell it out correctly. You get to create one low level spell a day in game, and you get to create one high level spell every three days in game. Uh, you can also cast spells using your warlock score, which is your intelligence plus your stamina. So I think that about wraps it up. If you're interested in creating a magic user character and are kind of stuck between a sorcerer or a warlock, um, it comes down to how they got their powers and what their attitude is. Uh, if you've seen my video on sorcerers, you know that you know the magic is kind of put upon them or you know it's like a, a gift of birth. Um, chance, they stumble upon some object and pff, all of a sudden magic. Um, you know, Sorcerer may even be a little hesitant to use their powers. Maybe they're a little bit too, uh, overwhelmed by their magnitude. Uh, but that is not the way a Warlock is gonna be. A Warlock went, they found their powers, and they worked hard to get them. They are gonna be much less hesitant to use their powers. They're gonna be pretty confident, like, this is, they're, 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 they chose this. This is the magic. They worked hard for it. They're gonna use it. Uh, I mean, think about it this way. The day they got their magic, be kind of like winning the lottery. They spent so much time trying to get their powers, and now that they've got them, like, they're going to go out, they're going to change the world. They're going to do something. Uh, yeah, I tried to keep this one short. I think magic users can be a little bit complex, so it might be a little bit on the longer side, but I tried to keep it short. If you enjoyed this video, click like, click subscribe. Um... You know, so you won't miss future videos. Uh, I've got a bunch of links down below if you want to find out more about Adventure Survival or get in contact with me or just uh, say, hey Linus, that was a good video, keep going. Or say, hey Linus, nope, you totally forgot something. I did, didn't make sense. Do it again. But 
that about wraps it up. I hope this was helpful. I hope this summarized Warlocks a bit. They are one of the two kind of uh, purely magical classes, and that other one is Sorcerer, the, the two that have the most versatility in creating spells. So if magic is a fascination of yours, definitely something you want to check into. And I think that about wraps it up. I'll see you soon. Game on.